So how long does it take for the TPMS sensors in the Tesla Model 3 to reset after you replenish the air pressure? I'm about to find out here. The temperature dropped down. We're in the 40s and 50s today. Overnight, it dropped into the 30s. So anyways. Yeah, so it's been in like the 50s and 40s. And here we are. About to get over to a quick trip. I know. Oh, there's another Tesla. Model Y, it looks like. I prefer a quick trip because all of their locations have air with a gauge. So you don't need to like pull out a gauge or anything like that to figure out how to get up to 44 PSI. Should be perfect here. The gas station that I was just at um, charged two dollars, and it didn't have a gauge. What? Oh wow! Okay. Let's see. Yes. So. They all have this handy dandy air right here. go videos just clocked in at five minutes I have the right side up to 44 now psi and 50 degree temperature at the moment so I just find it easier to turn around and get the other side yeah so I've repressurized the right side now I'm gonna go over to the left side here and get it up to 44 psi just have to set it to 45 at quick trips and then dial it down one PSI down to 44, which is the factory for this particular model. Um, it may be different on like the performance model or the Model Y. So we'll see here how long it takes for this PSI to adjust. Now to find out how long it's gonna take for it to recalibrate. Oh, that was really fast. It's already calibrating there. I imagine once I do a little bit more driving, these numbers will go up as the, the heat increases and whatnot. But yeah, that might be it. That would be super fast. I guess not. I guess navigate on autopilot doesn't support this intersection. Anyways. Hey, that was really fast. I've 
than in other cars where it takes a really long time. Now it might take a number of miles for the, the air message up here to clear. Here we go. This right here, air pressure below recommendations. It's cleared in this portion and we've only gone, we've gone less than a mile, so I'm impressed with that performance. That other vehicles I've owned didn't tell you the PSI per wheel. They would just say that you have lower low tire pressure. You had to check your tire pressure yourself, so it's nice that it tells you all four of them. Especially if you have a flat, it comes in handy. That's really about it. Yeah, it only takes about a minute, less than a minute for the TPMS to start showing up. It didn't take a lot of driving to get it up one PSI. I expect if things heat up here, start seeing 44, 46 PSI. 